Today's one thing doesn't just smell, it burns. The one thing I'd like to show you is the most delicious way I know of to pickle your eggs, which is pickling them in leftover kimchi brine. Now what that means is you're gonna need some leftover kimchi. When you get to about this level in the jar, that's perfect for making kimchi pickled eggs because it's been in here for a while, it's still fermenting, it's the strongest kimchi in the jar, and that is what's going to make these eggs pickle fast and hard. So here's where it starts to smell, and it only gets better slash worse from here. Take your pre-boiled peeled eggs, and you're just gonna drop the first layer very carefully in the bottom like this. You don't wanna dent them. And you're just gonna load these into the jar until it's pretty much all the way full or until you run out of eggs, whichever happens first. You don't wanna crowd them because that will actually compress the eggs and give them a kind of funny shape. This itself is not enough to pickle the eggs. They do need to be submerged in order to pickle properly. So we're going to add equal parts white vinegar. And this is rice vinegar that has a little bit of salt and sugar added in just to balance out the flavors a little bit. If you use straight vinegar, the flavor will be too sharp right up to the top, screw the cap on here, shake it up real good, the whole thing will turn bright orangey red, stick that in the fridge and they'll be ready in two days or less. The second way to make kimchi pickled eggs is if you don't have an already seven eighths of the way finished jar of kimchi like I almost always do in my fridge, I'm completely addicted to it, but if you have a bunch of eggs, some vinegar, some kimchi, and an empty jar, pop open this kimchi, uh, you can use a fork, I like to use chopsticks. Make a layer of kimchi at the bottom of the jar, layer the eggs in here, nestle them in, and then I'll do another layer of kimchi over it. You know, if you really love kimchi, feel free to amp it up in this recipe. If you'd like more of a subtle flavor, use a little bit less, entirely up to you. Another layer of eggs right here. Something I like to do when I'm making these layers is make sure I get some of the dark, dark greens of the kimchi in there for a variation in color, texture, and a little bit flavor. Another layer of eggs on top. One more layer of kimchi. And we're going to do half seasoned rice vinegar and half white vinegar. Cap it nice and tightly. Because the kimchi flavor is not quite so pronounced in this brine, you're gonna wanna let these sit for a week before you eat them, although they'll be fine if you eat them before that. Let them get all that flavor soaked in. It's so worth it, I promise. This next step involves getting your hands messy. This is if you have kimchi and you have eggs, but there is no vinegar or brine making materials anywhere in your domicile. We're gonna take an egg and we're going to lay it on a piece of kimchi, cover it tightly with another piece of kimchi, and keep going like that until all the sides are completely, completely covered by the leaves. And you're just gonna kinda swaddle it like a delicious little baby. Right in here, nestled in with its little buddies. Put the lid on and stash these in the fridge for two days before you eat them. That's how long it'll take for the residual brine on the kimchi leaves to penetrate, and get them all nice and creamy and delicious and tangy. My favorite way, and the kind that I find myself eating at like two in the morning all the time, is what I like to call the lazy man's deviled egg. We're not actually gonna double these eggs because we're lazy, so we're gonna squirt a little bit of this QP mayo and we're just gonna do a little sprinkle each of furikake, black sesame seed, and just a couple of scallions, sliced up real nice, and then you just pop them in your mouth. Mmm. <laughs> it's tangy, creamy. The white is very firm, the yolk is very velvety, fudgy, delectable, and you can make it three ways yourself at home. If you like this video, find more One Thing videos on thesprucyeats.com.